Hey guys, and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. On this video, we're getting keto. We're gonna be trying out a new barbecue sauce that's keto friendly. Getting up there in age. Let's get going. All right, we're gonna be trying out this special barbecue sauce on some chicken wings. Chicken wings are keto, fat is good. So let's just get these seasoned up with just a little bit of pink salt. And some fresh cracked black pepper. Just gonna give these a toss. So we're gonna be cooking these chicken wings on the Rectech Bullseye. It's a very easy grill to uh, get going. My wife loves it. She uses it just about every night when she grills up chicken and steaks and stuff. So let's get these things on. All right, we got our bullseye up to 300. We're gonna go 325, 350. We're gonna be baking these. Go ahead and get these on. All right, while these are cooking, let's get our barbecue sauce done. All right, for our keto-friendly barbecue sauce, we're gonna start with some butter. Some apple cider vinegar. And what I got here is monk fruit sweetener. It's an all natural sweetener from monk fruit that's from China. Now this is uh, up there on the list of keto friendly sweeteners. It's a natural sweetener. So we're gonna use that. And I actually did find that in a local grocery store. You know, it's, you can use stevia, um, xylo, xylothin I think is the other name of it. Uh, monk fruit was there and I was like, okay, it was on the list of friendly keto ingredients. So we're gonna get this all dissolved. And that monk fruit, uh, monk fish. <laughs> the monk fruit uh, sweetener is a one-to-one -one substitute for sugar. Um, it says on the package one-to-one. -one. Some sweeteners like Stevia is like 100 to 100, 200 times sweeter than sugar. So we're just doing a one-to-one -one ratio here. All right, we're gonna get our other ingredients in. Got some tomato paste, I got one can. This is a, the heck is this? A six ounce can, six ounce can. We'll get that in there. I'm gonna add a little water. Pinch of salt, this is a uh, Himalayan pink salt. Some pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder. Gotta add some heat, so we got some cayenne, some yellow mustard, and of course we gotta add some liquid smoke. This is mesquite, get that in there. That's it, we're gonna Get this mixed up. Now, if it's too thick, add some more water. But this looks like a pretty good consistency so far. We'll let this simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. So we got about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes left on these wings. They're getting nice and golden, crunchy brown. We're gonna go ahead and start coating with our barbecue sauce here. Give that about three minutes to set up and then we'll turn them, coat them again, and I think we'll be done. All right, so there we have it. 
some uh, keto friendly chicken wings. Uh, it smells, it smells like barbecue. Let's see what these taste like. All right, let's see what we got. It has that barbecue sauce essence, I guess I can call it. It leans more of tomato sauce, um, but you get the sweetness. You can definitely get the smokiness. It's got some heat to it from that cayenne. It's got some heat from that cayenne. <coughs> I, I do not not like it. Um, it's pretty good. I would eat it. Um, if I was being served this while watching the game, I will definitely eat this. Uh, it's it's got good flavor. I wouldn't pick it up and eat it and say this is these are barbecue wings or barbecue sauce, but they are wings and it's got a good flavor. All I gotta do is find some uh, keto friendly beer now to go with these uh, keto friendly barbecue wings. But you guys give them a try, let me know what you think. Um, we all gotta try when we get up there in age. So remember guys, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next run. Thanks for watching.